Hey, what's up, everybody? We were just talking today uh, about what we're doing after work. After I've got to go to a five to six year old youth basketball game today, and boy, I'm excited. Woo! The scoring gets up to sometimes four and six points. It is absolutely <laughs> amazing. Um, but just before we get to product spotlight, just to let you, ladies and gentlemen, know. Soccer. It was really easy, easy for my for to walk for me to watch my son play soccer. It was really easy, Chef why, John. Why was it? Why was I don't it know. It was just easy. I okay. could just watch him play soccer. Okay. You know, T ball. Mm -hmm. Very easy to watch my son play T ball. Okay. Very easy. I don't know what it was. I guess because there's so many of them on the. I think it's because there's just so many of them on the field. Uh, okay. Okay. Basketball and some of the parents uh, on the Buckeyes know what I'm talking about. But man, it is tough. <laughs> To watch your five-year-old play basketball when yeah. he really doesn't know what he's doing. So what makes it's really it so tough, tough, though? It's just tough because, because you know, you, it, it, I'm not embarrassed, but you get like, oh man, you know, maybe should I should I be spending more time with him? <laughs> but he gives me about five to ten minutes, right. and then he does not want to listen to dad anymore. Yeah. But enough about that, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. We're just trying to connect with you. Yeah, that's I'm sure it. there's some of the dads and moms out there that connect with me. But enough about me blabbering on. Today is Thursday. What does that mean, Chef John? It means it's time for Product Spotlight, the most watched and interactive show that we do. Well, I don't know about that, John, because I've been doing some analyzing and research. Okay. And I mean, it's... Is it top? Eh, I mean, it's top for sure, because top. there's only like really three Two. live yeah, things yeah. that we do, so it's <laughs> definitely maybe second, but okay. yeah. But this is where we highlight a product available at Rectech.com, R-E-C-T-E-Q.com. We like to show you some maintenance tips. We like to answer your questions, uh, but we really just like to get you ahead of sales and specials That's right. and try to save you some money. That is really the purpose of this show. We really need you to spread this all over the internet. So please, <coughs> we'll give you three seconds to do it because that's <laughs> all it takes. We want you to smash that share button so we'll count you down. Three, two, one, smash, smash it. it. And again, that share, means a lot, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. It really does. Um, but today, available at Rectech.com, R-E-C-T-E-Q.com, we have on sale, special, right now, okay? If you're gonna purchase the RT-1070, this mm -hmm. beautiful, amazing mm. uh, machine right here, available at Rectech.com, if you purchase it, you can get the RT-340 for $200 off, Chef John. Come on. Cheese right. and crackers. So if you're on the fence, ladies and gentlemen, you need to go ahead and pull that trigger. Now, that's with uh, the 1070. That's with the 1070 plus cart. That's with the 1070 bundles. Okay. So any uh, combination of the 1070 that you get, you have the opportunity of getting the RT-340 for 200 bucks off. And that's a boatload of savings, mm -hmm. Chef John. Cheese and sure crackers. Is. Um Inventory alert, inventory alert. The uh, Teflon drip tray liners are available at Rectech.com right now, ladies and gentlemen. Now, I think we're out of larges, maybe. We got extra larges and smalls, but the larges will be back. Uh, again, these things are flying off the shelf super, super fast. But again, this is our Teflon mat. Now, ladies and gentlemen, you can do a lot of different things with these. Yeah, good. Um, I one of my buddies actually bought one of these and cut it in half and uses it in his half pants. Ooh, smarty pants. <laughs> Instead of buying a Silpat mat. Yeah. Um, but this extra large one is for built for the RT 2500 BFG. You need two of these bad boys. But essentially, what this does, and we were smoking on this bad boy all day today, it's still super hot, but I'm going to come in here and I'm going to get hot with you, ladies and gentlemen. Essentially, this replaces the foil that you put on your drip tray, ladies and gentlemen. Makes it super, super easy. All you have to do is peel it off, rinse it off or shake it off and all of that stuff uh, gets right off of there. Uh, instead of having to, to get in here, let me show you, let me show you. Now, if I had that Teflon mat in there, Chef right. John, right. cleaning my drip tray would be so much easier. So much easier. Okay, I wouldn't have to let my grill cool down, which we're not letting it cool down right now. Mm -mm. You wouldn't have to let your grill cool down. Mm -mm. You wouldn't have to get in there and get all dirty no. to get rid of that foil no you wouldn't have to get in there and get dirty to refoil it you wouldn't have to waste foil okay one purchase of these teflon mats they don't last a lifetime but they do last a good long time now i have to come in here chef john yeah get in here yeah do this number right mm -hmm. here mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. which is not very difficult but some people their time is very valuable okay yeah. gotta get in here and see even with the foil you can still get some grease on your drip tray, ladies and gentlemen, okay? Some folks are scrapers. They'll take a hard 
plastic putty scraper and scrape that stuff off. Uh, but with the Tef, now this, again, please forgive me because this is not the right size for this grill. But the Teflon mat will fit right in there. Again, this is an extra large. You would want a large for this 700 or 1250 model grill. But it just lines right in there, ladies and gentlemen. And you cook right on top of it. And it's just like um, a stick resistant baking mat. Essentially, all the grease goes on there. You can rinse it off. You can, again, like me, when I'm out in the yard, I just shake it off in the yard yeah. and my dog comes and eats all that little oh, goodness. Yeah. But again, you see how much easier it would be. You take it off, you shake it or rinse it off, and then you put it back on. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. No need to remove your drip tray right, right here. And again, going right on in there. Make sure you got some gloves on, ladies and gentlemen, because that was hot. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, but again, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Take your old one off. Put your new one on, let's get to cooking. Get to These cook. Teflon mats are available at Rectech.com. We've got extra large and small available right now. Large is, uh, we're working hard to get those back into stock, but we've got three sizes. Um, and these things are super awesome. Again, it's gonna save you time because it's super easy to do. It's gonna save you money because you're not wasting foil, That's okay? True. Um, and again, foil is expensive right foil now. is very expensive. Uh, but get, ladies and gentlemen, if you have any questions about these, let us know in the comment section. Put it down below. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Now, since I had that out, I'll go ahead and turn this into uh, to a maintenance moment for you, ladies and gentlemen. Um, this is essentially how I set up my cook uh, right. every five to six cooks, okay? Right. I come in here, I either replace my Teflon or either I put brand new foil in there, Chef John. Mm -hmm. I come down here and I check out my fire pot. Looks like we got a lot of ash in there. So what I'm, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna stick my hand down in there, get all that ash out of there. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw it down there at the bottom of the grill, okay? What that's gonna do, is it's gonna do a couple of different things for me that are beneficial, okay? When I drip grease down here, this ash is gonna help. Uh, clean up that grease when I'm ready to clean it up, okay? This ash also reduces the surface area that the grill has to heat up, so it heats up quicker, okay? This ash also creates a layer of insulation, so your grill lose, doesn't lose as much heat during those colder winter months. That's right, that's okay? great too. And it also prevents fly ash from flying up into your chamber, okay? When that ash comes out of your fire pot, it's more likely to stick to the ash that's at the bottom of your barrel um, and it's less likely to fly up into your chamber, okay? Mm -hmm. So that's four beneficial things uh, to throw in that ash down at the bottom uh, of your barrel. And again, follow the four to five rule. Clean out your fire pot about every four to five cooks, okay? Let your grill hopper run empty about every four to five bags of pellets, okay? Ladies and gentlemen, if you do those two maintenance tips, oh, well, let's add three. Make sure you change your foil or keep your uh, drip tray clean. If you follow those three maintenance tips, your rec tech is going to last you a lifetime. You're going to be able to leave that uh, to your son-in-law or daughter-in-law or to your family when you pass away. Uh, this thing has become a, a family heirloom uh, if you do those maintenance tips, ladies and gentlemen. It's going to last a lifetime. Any good questions out there, Chef John, for us? Uh, yes, sir. Um, this one's coming from uh, Carrie Watts Jr. Carrie asks, how long do they last? The uh, Teflon uh, uh, just Just as long um, as as long as you don't abuse it it will last um man for us they probably last about a month for you guys they probably last between six months into it and a year okay uh, but we use these grills absolutely every day um yeah good question yeah. Hey, but if you didn't know ladies and gentlemen it's Ooh. national popcorn day yeah, it is pop, pop, we popped pop, this up. popcorn in this grill before we went live one of my favorite things to do is to add a little bit of that Rasa Ruski's Honey Rib Rub mm -hmm. to some butter popcorn. You know what I'm saying? Got that sweet, it's also got a little pepper in there that adds a nice little heat flavor to it. But man, that is one of my favorite things to do when I'm enjoying popcorn is just yep. to douse it with Rectech seasonings. Love it. Mm. I can't, cheese and cracker, that's good. There you go, you guys. Thanks buddy. Mm. Mm. But again, I wanna remind you, Right now, if you purchase the RT1070 in any form at rectech.com, you're going to get the RT340 for $200 off, ladies and gentlemen. Mm -hmm. That saves you a boatload of money. Inventory announcement. We've got the Teflon mats back in stock. Unfortunately, you guys bought up the larges. We've got extra larges and smalls still available. We will get those larges in here as quickly as we can. I want to remind everybody, if you missed it, the co-founder, Ray Carnes, went surprise live on us. Yeah, he did. Gave everybody an amazing hamburger recipe. If you missed that, make sure you check back uh, on Facebook for that, ladies and gentlemen. 
but um, we are going to be on Fox and Friends this Saturday. If you guys don't yeah. know what that is, uh, that is on the Fox News Network, and I believe it's going to be in the morning. They're going to be doing a tailgating segment okay. featuring our grill, so I highly encourage you to check that out. Um, what else we got, Daniel? Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, locally here in Evans, Georgia, in the Augusta area, we've got a open access, open box accessory sale going on go. that ends today, ladies and gentlemen. So if you get off work and you can get here before 7, go and check out the open box inventory area, okay, over in customer pickup. Mike Ventry's got some sear kits in there. I think he's got a few griddles. I think he's got... A tons of covers so if you're looking for an amazing accessory for your grill if you just got your grill and you're in the local Augusta area please come by and check out that open box area today today is the very very last day now I know co-founder Ray Carnes uh, was cooking up some burgers and he didn't yep. even know but we're cooking burgers tomorrow for Funday Friday chef John and I are gonna amplify yep. your burger recipe repertoire ladies and gentlemen we're going to show you tips and tricks yeah, yeah. that are going to be able you're going to be able to blow <clears throat> i always get some popcorn stuck in my throat uh -oh. every time slow it down a little bit and i always get some stuck in my teeth but tomorrow chef john and i are going to amplify your burger repertoire you're going to be learning tips and tricks you're going to be able to knock burgers out of the park by tomorrow on any of the rec tech pellet grills we're going to be cooking on all of them just to show you uh but Co-founder Ray Carnes likes 450 degrees, yeah, no sear kit, mm -mm. for about 20 minutes, 10 minutes a side. Yep. That's his hands down favorite burger recipe. Now, you're getting a different texture with it. It's not like a gas or a charcoal grill. Mm. You know, you're getting some smokiness yeah. in there. Um, you're getting some some char on the outside. It's absolutely delicious. If you've never tried a burger on the Rectech, you've, you've got to do yourself a favor for sure. and try a burger on the Rectech. Uh, it makes it so much easier, you know, the temperature control. I'm not. Uh, having to worry about flare-ups uh, because there's two pieces of metal between the meat and the heat. It's not like a gas or a charcoal grill with the flames touching it uh, the whole time, putting carcinogens on your meat. Mm -hmm. um, none of that, ladies and gentlemen. The Rectech makes your life so much easier and all of the accessories that we have make your life so much easier um, and it saves you time and money, okay? You know what I'm talking about? I think I know what you do. But don't forget, tomorrow, fun day Friday, uh, we're going to do it too, Daniel? We're gonna do it at 2 p.m. We have oh never, boy. ever, well, we've probably done it maybe once or twice, but we've never done a fri uh, fun day Friday that late, 2 p.m. Eastern Standard. That means those folks out of there on the West Coast will get to enjoy it during lunchtime, okay? Um, so please tune in tomorrow, 2 p.m. Eastern Standard. Don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, it's not gonna be 1230. It's gonna right. be 2 p.m. Don't be sending us direct messages asking us what the heck we're doing while we're not at work. Okay, <laughs> 2 p.m. Eastern Standard, we're gonna be doing burgers that are gonna knock your socks off, ladies That's and right. gentlemen. Um, make sure you smash that share button for this video. Make sure you sign up for the newsletter at rectech.com so you know what's going on and when things are going down. I know some folks probably got some of those smoke box emails. I know uh, mm -hmm. those are, are rolling in every once in a while. Mm -hmm. But uh, ladies and gentlemen, we thank you so much to uh, everybody that comes into the front doors and asks for us and asks us questions and thanks us and gives us hugs and takes pictures with us. We would not be able to come to work without you. Thank you so much. We it's encourage true. you, ladies and gentlemen, come tomorrow. Lot Watch the live fun day Friday, 2 p.m. Eastern Standard. Um, anything else, Daniel? Don't forget Fox and Friends on Saturday. Make sure you check it out. Make sure you share it on social media. Make sure you, uh, yeah. If you have any questions, call us 706-922-0890 is the number here. And from everybody at the World Rec Worldwide Headquarters for Rec Tech in Evans, Georgia, God bless you, God bless the United States of America, and we'll see you at the Rec Tech. Do, 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 uh, do, 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 uh, do, 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 uh, do, do, do. Uh.